Deborah the Big Red Engine and Wyatt the Express Engine have been strong friends for a long time now. Ever since Deborah came to the South Roman Rally, Wyatt had been a very good friend to her that he often shares his work with her, like how he does it sometimes whenever she didn't have other jobs to do. And sometimes when he often pulls the heavy freight cars for Deborah, she pulls the express along the main line for him. The two engines seem to have a special bond together during their friendship days. But unbeknownst to Deborah, Wyatt secretly had a crush on her and have such feelings for her, even though he didn't have the courage to admit it for quite a while. One day, it was later in the afternoon when Wyatt was pulling the express, when he had broken his safety valve. Luckily, he wasn't too far from the engine works, so Lisa took him there instead of going himself because Miss Lindsay demanded that he could not work or move until he got a new safety valve. That's why Lisa took him. I'm sorry, Wyatt, but we do not have any more safety valves. We had to use our last one on Bevany just yesterday. But I can't just sit here. You have to have another one somewhere. I'm sure of it. Wyatt, I'm sure they don't have one. Let's just wait until the shipment comes in tomorrow and come back to get you repaired. You know, that way you don't have to start annoying the workmen with these silly tasks. Nonsense, Lisa. I just wanted to be ready for my express. I can't go on without my safety valve. I'm sure they do have it somewhere in here. Actually, we've checked it there, and like we've said it before, we do not have any more safety valves, and we already used our last one on Bevany just yesterday. She's right. You can wait until tomorrow morning when the shipment of parts comes in. Then we can be able to fix you. Fine. I shall wait until tomorrow morning. Take me to the sheds, please, Lisa. While Wyatt sat in the sheds, he rambled to himself about how some other engine, better than him, was pulling the express for the rest of the day. Until he heard and saw a familiar engine shove onto the turntable. It was Deborah. He was surprised to see her here. He slightly blushed, but quickly hid it as she approached. Wyatt, are you alright? I heard your safety valve broke and I came to check on you. I'm... I'm alright, but I cannot pull the express until tomorrow, because they do not have any more valves at the works. Now I have to wait here until the shipment of parts comes. Oh dear. Well... Perhaps I can pull the express for you if you want me to. I don't have anything to do for the afternoon today. Of course I want you to, Deborah. You've pulled expresses a long time, so it is nice of you to do the wonderful job for me. Guess anything's better than what an old reliable like me does sometimes. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not every engine does pull the express better than me. So no one is doing a better job than me. Deborah laughed as she puffed away to clip the express. Wyatt sighed, dreaming of how he and Deborah often would pull the special train together. Until suddenly it was rudely interrupted by the familiar whistle. Ah! Hello, Wyatt. Sorry I startled you. What are you doing here? I broke my safety valve while pulling the express, but I'm going to the works tomorrow when the shipment of valves gets delivered to get mine fixed. Anyway, shouldn't you be on your branch line? I was, but I've decided to have a rest. Boy, working on it in the new sheds could be quite tiring, but at the least now it is already finished. New sheds? On your branch line? How did you get them done to be finished? All those sheds are our sheds now that we finished constructing it. You see, 
Dexter, Daphne, and I know that we may be sleeping here every night, but now we can finally have our very own sheds to sleep in. While you mainline engines could still be sleeping here, like as usual you guys do. Oh, I didn't know you've got your very own sheds. I'm glad it wasn't me who comes to help, and you've got Daphne there to help you. Exactly. Perhaps someday Miss Lindsay may assign you to work with us on our branch line when you're going to be pulling goose train. Anyway, I hope you're able to get fixed by the morning, Wyatt. <sighs> Sweep well, Tenor. Wyatt slowly started to lose himself in his own train of thought. He was rather glad that Deborah was taking his express instead of some other engine that could have mistreated his coaches. He knew that he no longer could deny his feelings towards her. It was time that he finally confessed to her after silently crushing on her for a while. I hope tomorrow, tomorrow morning, after I leave the engine works, I will finally confess to her. Wyatt awoke to Lisa pulling him back to the works to fix the safety valve. Surprisingly, no one but him, Lisa, and the workman was at the works. Alright, Wyatt. Are you ready to be fixed now? Of course! I've been waiting almost all afternoon yesterday. The workman began to work on Wyatt. Lisa decided to leave as soon as the workman started to work on Wyatt. Though it wasn't long until they were able to fix Wyatt's valve. There you go, Wyatt. You're all fixed and ready to go. Thank you so much, guys. Now I must go. I feel ready to be as real useful as everyone else. Soon, Wyatt was racing around the South Vermin Railway, trying to find Deborah. Oh, botheration! Where is that engine when you need her? Wyatt came to a slow stop when he approached the level crossing. While he waited, he felt his own wheels wobble and shake. He knew that this was going to be hard, but he knew that if he poured his heart out and confessed to Deborah like that, Maybe there would be a slim chance she returned the feelings. As if right now it was a matter of time to find out where she was at. He continued to look until he found her at Southwestern Station dropping off some coaches and was about to leave. Deborah! Deborah! Wyatt? What are you doing here? Deborah, I've been looking everywhere for you. Are you? Shouldn't you be at the sheds? Have you got your valve fixed yet? I was at the sheds, and I've been there all afternoon yesterday. And yes, I finally got my valve mended. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're looking as good as new. So, how come you're in such a hurry to look for me? The reason why I went to, to look for you is because... I've been meaning to confess something to you for a while now. Oh, you can talk to me about it whatever you want to, Wyatt. No, it's not that. I've had a crush on you for a while ever since you came to South Roman along with the other new engines. But I never realized it until last night when you left, and I was wondering if you like to go out with me. Deborah was surprised. She had never thought. A express engine like Wyatt personally had a crush on a heavy goods engine like herself. She blushed as bright red as her paintwork. Wyatt, I would love to. I'd love to go out with you. I didn't realize that how much you care about me ever since we've been friends for such a long time until now. Wyatt smiled blushingly. He knew that Deborah finally accepted his request. And so later that evening, the two engines chuffed back to the sheds to plan their first date night. <laughs>